Classic Sports Network presents Center Court Classics. Welcome to Victory Yard. I'm Bud Collins, and I'm going to take you back to 1971, the year the game of tennis really started to take off as never before. That year, a 20-year-old Aboriginal from Australia, Ivan Gulagan, won Wimbledon. John Newcomb, another Aussie, won his second straight Wimbledon title, and Billie Jean King made over $100,000 in prize money. Now, that doesn't sound like much in today's terms, but it was the stratosphere, 100000 bucks. And it was the year of TGA, Caps TGA, the great arrival of Christine Marie Everett, a 16-year-old, ponytail and back, and boy, what ground well, what strokes. Not many people knew about Chrissy at that point. She played for the United States in helping to win the Whiteman Cup. She'd won a small tournament in New Jersey, but she'd never been on television. It was at Forest Hills that she instantly captivated the U.S. Open crowds. This is the fourth year of open tennis. Amateurs and pros together, and she's an amateur, up against a pro. 24-year-old Mary Ann Eisel, the number four player in the United States, much more experienced. In the first round, Chrissy beat a German, Etta Budding, fairly easily, won in love in the stadium at Forest Hills, this wonderful 13,000-seat concrete horseshoe. Now the open is gone from Forest Hills, but it's on grass then, in 1971, and there were 9,000 people showing up on the first Saturday of the tournament to take a look at this wonder child against Marianne Eisel. Now, grass court, that is not Chrissy's surface. She grew up on clay in Florida, but she is a marvelously composed child, playing hooky from high school at St. Thomas Aquinas and trying to stay as long as she can. But grass, well, we just think the kid's going to be all right, but not this time. And yet she goes out onto that grass court and plays pretty well. She loses the first set, and then look at this, a grass court. You won't, you won't see this very often, lined for singles. Three courts like this in the stadium at Forest Hills so that they can save the grass, move the matches around. But Chrissy Everett, with her two-fisted backhand, is not moving Marianne Eisel around enough. So she loses the first set. And as we join the match, Chrissy, with her back to us, will be serving. She's lost the first set, six games to four, and Marianne Eisel can really volley. Best of three sets. And Marianne has one of them. Oh, there's a winner. It's not a bad start to the second set when you've just lost the first. And she didn't even walk around behind the baseline and take a breather, as most players do. She's really keen to get on with it. Nice. Top shot, wins it. Gee, she approached that as though she were throwing a rock at a snake. Yes, she does. She approaches them, and you think this is going to be a really hard drive to the corner, and then at the last minute she fades underneath the ball, and it just crawls oh. over, over the net with a bit of backspin on, and there's no way without wings you'll get to it. Nice touch. First game of the second set to Chrissy Everett. And Chrissy Everett is going to receive Marianne Eisel, one of the fine American players of the last decade. She's been in the top ten every year since 1964. Marianne starts off in trouble. Not 15. Yes, it was a bad volley, but she didn't bend her knees or get down to it at all. Seemed to well, hope for the best and watch the ball. Chrissy! Look 
can you do with a shot like that? 15 all. Love, Love third crit. You saw Chrissy Love moving her lips. She's aware of everything going on, correcting the umpire right away. Out. Out. 15, 30. K. Jones, the umpire. Dirty all. Marianne certainly getting more mistakes out of Chrissy's forehand than she is out of the two-fisted backhand. Again goes for the wide serve, but mistimes it again. Better one. Warning, dirty. Chrissy looking annoyed with herself, giving herself a um, slap on the behind, trying to get it moving faster. No, nope, can't quite get to that one. Has the game, game came back from Lot 30. It's one all. Games are one all, second set. And Marianne hasn't lost her serve now since the second game of the match. 15, Lot. won 11 national championships on her own in the United States. One notices when Chrissy serves too that uh, she doesn't have a, a pocket on her dress anywhere. The boys, when they've got a two-fisted shot, they have a pocket where they keep the second ball, and they, but Chrissy doesn't have anywhere to put it. So if her first serve goes into court and into play, then she has to throw the second ball behind her. And uh, this sometimes can cause a bit of a hazard on the court. Not only a hazard, but do some of her opponents complain because it's distracting sometimes when she just drops the ball. I yes. Know. It's all right if she throws it behind her, but sometimes she drops it actually on the court, and uh, this can upset the play. 2-1 for Chrissy Everett. Here's Marianne Eisel. I'm sure Marianne won't mind at all the reporters writing about Chrissy as long as she has the last word and wins the match. The last point, that's all she wants. Yes. Dirty, love. Again, Chrissy missing that forehand. I quite know what she's doing wrong. Oh. The backhand is murder. She sprays yeah. line drives from that baseball grip shot. Yeah, she seems to stand waiting for the backhand in, with her, her hands in the backhand position. So when the forehand comes, she has to change her grip. And I wonder if that's part of the problem. 40, 15. It's a beautiful volley from Marianne, that one. Very crisp and firm. Oh, net cord ball. Drops 40, over. 30. Out. 
Dame Isa. Dames are too all. Not so many breaks of serve in this game. Both girls seem to have settled down on the court. Here's Chrissy serving it to all. Oh. Oh. Missed. Marianne Eisel questions the call by Seal Rosenthal. Marianne thought she had the line. Seal Rosenthal said no, and Seal Rosenthal's word is firm. That bounced twice. I don't think it bounced too well the first time. There seems to be a little green patch there where the ball skids all. through. Rather looks as though Marianne didn't, doesn't trust that lady, so that time she made it quite sure that it was really well and truly wide. <clears throat> Not much of a bounce there either. Now the courts, the courts are very soft this year, but I've noticed one or two of the players slipping and sliding all over the place. Mr. Gorman didn't do his ankle any good on this court the other day. Now Tom Gorman hurt himself against Ian Tyriak, had to default. He was a Wimbledon semi-finalist. Let called. She'll serve it again. Second ball. First break point of the second set. It's against Chrissy Everett. Caught the line. Marianne, the volley. She breaks through and she leads 3-2. Marianne Eisel serving now. She's open to lead in the second set and delivers her fourth double fault. Seems to be trying to give that service break away, but here. Leading 3-2. Of course, if she wins this game, she's ahead 4-2, which means Chrissy Evers has already lost her service in this set. seems to be stepping up the pace of her game here both with her service and her volleys and uh, Chrissy is beginning to get a little less accurate with her ground strokes because of this that was a crisp volley into the bottom of the net which is why I'm sure she didn't intend that anyway here she goes 30 all Good lob. Marianne can't get it. And Chrissy has set up a break point for herself. She saw Marianne. She saw Marianne move in then to the net and thought this is a very good time to just slip it over the top. It was a winner all the way. That's long. And the kid comes back. Chrissy Everett has broken and the second set is even. Three off. Cut the line. Yeah, it's a beautiful serve, right on.
whistles. Some of the people thought Marianne's shot was wide. Chrissy doesn't seem to question any of the decisions at all, though. She just brushes that little piece of hair out of her eye and gets on to the next point. Marianne Eisel. And the crowd really enjoyed that volley. Break points now for Marianne against Chrissy. That is good. So Marianne breaks back and Marianne Eisel leads 4 3. Marianne Eisel leading 6 4, 4 3. The winner of this match will go into the third round, most likely play Francoise Durr. Francoise Deur is seated five in this championship and uh, she's recently been playing above form and I would say she has a very good chance of causing some upsets in this tournament. Marianne did not hit a good overhead. She allowed Chrissy to stay in the point. Yes, it was a short love. One felt that Marianne should have really hit that, punished that one away for a winner. She allowed Chrissy a second bite at the cherry, and Chrissy liked that one. Foul! Double fault. fault. Five. Fifteen. Forty. For Eisel. And Chrissy, right back alive with a couple of break points. Wide, Chris Everts. Game ever. Wins. Marianne Eyes will serve for all. There she is, doing up her shoelace, taking a little breather, trying to compose herself now to maybe win her service for a change and put a little pressure on Marianne Eyes. She's still mistiming that forehand though. She seems to be taking it a little bit late. And uh, as a result, the ball is going up and a little too far over the baseline the other end. Fifteen all. The vital ninth game. In the first set, Chrissy was serving it and she was broken. What a beautiful return of serve. You couldn't ask for a better forehand than that. 30. So smooth and flowing and so much power and angle too. There's an excitement about our game that we don't think anybody else can duplicate. This week, get personal with NHL Commissioner Gary Bettman. On Distant Replay, Tuesday at 7.30 Eastern, only on Classic Sports Network. Parenting is a constant learning process. What you have to do is prioritize. Back in 88, Earl wanted to retire. Spend more time with Tiger. My dad taught me. I met an American Express financial advisor. Dave is a personal friend of mine to this day. We trust each other because we've got a track record. It's about making smarter decisions. We're a team, and that's when dreams can happen. American Express financial advisors. Three. We hope you don't mind 
recommend us blowing our own horn, but Ricola, the original all-natural herb cough drop imported from Switzerland, now comes in a soothing new throat syrup you're gonna love. Ricola! Walton challenges Kareem, two of the greatest centers to ever play the game. One of the greatest playoff games in NBA history. Watch the Lakers and Blazers in the 77 Western Finals. Thursday at 9 Eastern, only on Classic Sports Network. We now return to Center Court Classics on Classic Sports Network. So Marianne Eisel will be serving for the match and a spot in the third round of the U.S. Open. She leads 6-4, 5-4, Marianne, although she has been our national indoor champion three years, 90-64, 69, and 70, and the national indoors played in Boston. She's never played very well at Forest Hills, never been beyond the third round. Now, she must overcome the girl who's been getting all the publicity, the kid from Fort Lauderdale, and Marianne has the match on her racket. But Chrissy drives in a way. Those last four points seem eternal, I think. When you're serving for a match, it's the most difficult position to be in. Double fall, the yeah, sixth dirty. one for Marianne Eisel, and she is back in that corner now. Love thirty. She hasn't served six aces to make up for those six double faults either. As a pro tennis player, she shouldn't serve that many. That out. is way out of court. And Marianne, who came into this game to win the match, now is skewered on break points, three of them. Chrissy trying to button in her concentration. There it is, the break. The second set is even, five all. I know women's tennis doesn't normally rely on serve, but it's very unusual on a grass court to get as many as six break service, service break games in a row here. Very unusual, especially as Marianne Kurt Isel usually serves very well indeed and wins her service games the vast majority of the time, but she's really out there having trouble. Chris Everett now serving with new balls at five all. Now this has been the pattern. Break serve and then get in trouble on your own. Marianne casting an eye up to the aeroplane overhead. The noise is always distracting to a tennis player because you rely a certain amount on ear to hear how hard your opponent has hit the ball. Chrissy Everett. She played that volley then, and I'm sure the ball was going miles out of court. Beautiful for him. Terrific point by Marianne Eisel. Forehand really opened up the court and then she waited to see which way Chrissy Everett was going to run and put the ball in the opposite direction. Once more, the break points. No novelty in this match. Chris Everett. Oh. The serve. Oh. Marianne eases in against the second ball. That's a good approach, too. And a great Marianne breaks through with the overhead, the seventh straight service break, and it's 6 5 for Eisel. 
back at Victory Yard and you're watching Chris Everett when you can still call her Chrissy as her mother always has. She still had the ponytail, she was still trying to get through high school geometry, and she looked an awful lot like a cute kid next door to people unless you were across the net. And then you looked into those eyes of hers and you saw she had that steely heart. She was one very tough competitor. She would go on. We couldn't imagine it then. We thought she was a very good player. But she would go on until 1989, until finally she was inducted into the International Tennis Hall of Fame with the greats. And after that magnificent war she had with her good friend Martina Navratilova, she won all the championships you could win. She set a record for most tournaments won. But here she's 16 years old. So let's go back to the grass court at Forest Hills where the United States first became aware of Chris Everett. And let's see if she can at least stay in this match against Marianne Eisel. But Eisel won the first set and she's now serving for the match at 6-5. Marianne Eisel serving for the second time for the match and now she has the first point. That makes a lot of difference too. You can relax and think you've got one behind you now. And the countdown starts. Four, three. Let's see we, where we get from there. Fault. Go. Two points to go. Marianne Eisel trying 30, to love. halt the kid. Chrissy Everett, who has not lost a match since March. Right, sir. That is on the line. 40, love. Chrissy Everett. Doesn't look as though it bothers her, but there are three match points against her. Well, that's what you do with one of them. 40, 15. Once more, the match point gripping Chrissy Everett. And that's what you do with another. 14, 30. And if somebody around here is nervous, it's not Christine Marie Everett. Once more, match point for Mary Ann Eisel. And Chrissy will get a shot at that second serve. So Mary Ann hasn't hit one first serving in three here. Double call. Two. Seven double falls. Yes! It's really a sign of the tension and the strain on these girls at this point. Marianne Eisel needs a good serve, has it? And he has passed! And that is ever! That's four points in a row, the 16 year old Chris Everts won here. Now it's break point against Marianne Eisel, who had all those match points. Good serve. And a fine volley to get her back to deuce. Yes. I bet she's thinking now, if only I could have done that last time. Well, you mustn't think back in this game. Oh. Now that's oh. a fault. And Chrissy Everett, who was scoring against Marianne's second serve, has it now. That will go wide. Match point number four. Chris Everett has canceled out three match points. This is the fourth. A good return. Marianne can't make the half volley. Deuce for a third time. The ordeal for Marianne Eisel. Ball was out. And Chris Everett has her second break point. 
Mary Ann Eisel. With a problem named Ebert. Oh. Oh. Up it goes, it will go long. It's Deuce. Fourth time. Chris Everett. Marianne served a slow one on this deuce point last time and got in behind it, but missed the volley. I wonder what she'll go for this time. Perhaps a swinger out to the forehand. No, straight down the middle. Chris just misses it. Match point again. Fifth match point. Marianne wondering what she needs to do to win this match. Here she goes, serving for it now. Second serve, which Everett has handled so devastatingly. It floats over the baseline. Deuce a fifth time. Marianne Eisel and young Chrissy Everett. 16. She'll be 17 in December. She has not lost a match since March. Lost to Denise Triolo then. She looks so cool under these conditions. I don't know how she manages it. Now. Sixth time to match point. Marianne Eisel trying to get it. Chrissy trying to prevent it. Just missed. Not far off. Into the corner. Marianne has the match on her racket. Chrissy Everett. Standing there as though she's looking at the blackboard at St. Thomas Aquinas High School, Fort Lauderdale. Marianne Eisel thought she might have had an ace. There was chalk. But the center linesman, Enid Gerard, says no. Now a break point. Third break point. This is certainly the game of the tournament thus far. Six times the deuce. Six match points. Third break point. Chrissy goes to the corner and hits it. Chrissy Everett. Do you believe that? Six match points in that five deuce game <laughs> let's go back to young Chrissy she never had anything like th this happen before in her life now here it is finally after five deuces six match points she has a breaker and Eisel volleying as ever but on the line and Chrissy gets into the tiebreaker now let's remember this is 1971 only the second year of the tiebreaker being accepted at the u.s open it's best of nine points now if you think that was something that that only got chrissy into sudden death best of nine point sequence the little ice woman from fort lauderdale chrissy everett serving first point of sudden death she's still in plenty of trouble she's lost the first set one point forever. I wonder whose side the crowd are on. Uh -huh. So many cheers going up. Chrissy looked round just then to part and down it. Second point of the tiebreaker. Marianne electing to stay back. Two points. This is her back in the ground straight there. Mary Ann Eisel wondering where the points have gone. She had six match points, couldn't close it out. Now she's down zero points to two in the tiebreaker. First one to five wins it. If Marianne gets there, she has the match. If Chrissy gets there, it's all even.
Two points to one now for Chrissy Everett. Marianne will serve again. And then the serve goes to Chris Everett. has a three points to one lead in the tiebreaker as they change ends of the court. Yes, Marianne produced a great service then, but Chrissy Everett wasn't to be denied there. Returned the ball nicely to Marianne's feet, forcing her to play a half volley, which uh, was a tricky shot at the best of times. And a big cheer goes up for Chrissy as she takes up a position on the baseline, ready to serve. Marianne just coming back now, facing a deficit of one to three. Here's Chrissy. Three one up. Chrissy, two points from winning the second set. And now Chrissy Everett has a set point, and in fact, several of them against Marianne, who had match points. It's set point for Chrissy Everett. Collins and Ann Jones, we're going to go right down to the court because the crowd is going crazy for little Chrissy Everett of Fort Lauderdale, Florida, who has a break point. First game, third set against Marianne Izo. Let's go down to the court. She just made it, but... And she's broken. We're in live. Take a good look at her. Christine Marie Everett, 16 years old. The youngest player ever to play for the United States in the Whiteman Cup against Great Britain. She won two matches over Virginia Wade and Winnie Shaw. Upsets both of them to lead the United States to victory over my colleague's team, the British of Captain Ann Hayden Jones. Now let me tell you what she has done today because she must have been reading all the publicity she got coming into the stadium for the first time on Thursday against Etta Budding, a strong German player, playing in the stadium. First time she'd ever seen the stadium. She came here with her mother and said, what's that big thing? Her mother, Colette Everett, said, that's the stadium. She said, I wonder if I'll ever play there. They put her right in. She beat Budding, 6-1, 6-0. Then she lost the first set today to Mary Ann Eisel of St. Louis, the number four player in the United States. Mary Ann Eisel had six match points in the 12th game of the second set. Chrissy wouldn't let her have him. They went into sudden death. Chrissy won that, and now it's all even, except that Chrissy has a break and is serving at 1-0 in the third. On the line. Mary Ann, Isaac, is really disconcerted, Ann. Yes, yeah, she had that short ball there. She should have made sure of the point right then and there and hit it firmly in the opposite direction, but she hit it straight back to Chrissy and lost the point. Chrissy Everett playing a very steady baseline game. Firm control of all the baseline rallies. Her forehand was a little suspect at the start, but has settled down now. She's playing it very steadily. Mary Ann's game seems to momentarily have faltered. She must be still dreaming of those six match points she had uh, only a few moments ago. Chrissy Everett is moving. She has won, let's see, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten straight points. She won the sudden death tiebreaker to win the second set, five points to one after saving six match points. Now, Marianne Eisel is down, no games to two. Eisel. And she hears some welcome applause because this crowd in the stadium at the West Side Tennis Club has been all for Everett, the little girl. 104 pounder. Marianne recovering her composure a little bit with those two firmer volleys. 
but her game, she's really struggling with it at the moment. She's lost her confidence and consequently her power and rhythm have deserted her temporarily. Um, Maybe if she can love. clinch this game here, she'll settle down again and it'll develop into a ding-dong battle, just as the second set was. Double fall. That's eight for Marianne Eisel. That's at least six too many for a professional tennis player. If you serve eight double faults, you're supposed to serve eight aces as well to counter them, but it hasn't done that. That'll go out. Marianne trying to pull 40, herself 30. together. She had 40 love. Now it's 40-30. She must not lose this service game, or she'll be down 3-0 in the decisive third set. Second round match of the U.S. Open. Chrissy, with that baseball backhand, has pushed Marianne to deuce. I can't understand, but why Marianne keeps serving it wide to her backhand there. She's lost so many points doing that. It's like a death wish. Chrissy again, Chrissy Everett. She was six years old, ten years ago. She first picked up a racket, and she was not strong enough to hit the backhand with one hand. So her father encouraged her to use two. That goes wide. Marianne Eisel collapsing. At she had 40 love, and now she's down 0-3, and will return with more of the U.S. Open Tennis Championships from Forest Hills in just a moment. Chrissy Everett, serving a junior at St. Thomas Aquinas High School in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Chrissy, an amateur, serving against the professional. 16-year-old amateur, there's 24-year-old Marianne Eisel, St. Louis. Marianne really has her back against the wall now. Love three in the final set. Ow. Two breaks of service gone. 15 all. And the composed Chrissy Everett at the other end, looking as though nothing in this world's going to bother her. It's going on relentlessly, gathering in the points. Ow. I must say Marianne's helping 30, considerably 15. now, making a lot of unforced errors. Chrissy has won five straight games in this run. She's on the verge of the sixth. There it goes. She swings it like Carl Yastrzemski, knocking a line 40, drive 15. against that left field wall at Fenway Park. Let call. The ball behind her. The ball boy scoops it up. What a save. Ace. And we've seen it all now. Game Chrissy Everett, Everett, first ace of the match. Four games to play. And she can Final do nothing set. wrong. So I think that's the first ace of uh, forever and all time. <laughs> she <laughs> might have had one when she was 10 or 11. It's not a thing she expects to do, I'm sure. Marianne, Man, gee. looking really dejected now. Although Chrissy has played very, very well indeed, Marianne must feel that she's let this match slip through her fingers. Doesn't seem to have the concentration now to fight her way back into it. Or the determination, possibly. The points flying away from Marianne. She's trying to pull her concentration together the number four player of the United States and she wins it now she's been at 40 love before last time she served she lost it she was at 40 love in match game lost that in the second set Not for the score, the situation, the drama. She just hits winners.
Well, finally, Marianne Isa stops that six-game run. 4-1. The Chrissy craze has begun. And every kid in America wants to hit the backhand with two fists, boys and girls. That was the way to do it. Now, I'm apologetic because the tape, it's an old tape. We don't have the last two games. But guess who got them? Chrissy did. You've seen the essence, the six match points, which she's never done again. Why should she? She never got that far behind again. You've seen it, the essence of this match, and it just went on and on. The script was set. Lose the first set, win the next two. The next opponent, the great French woman, Francoise Durr. First set, she had it. Chrissy wins the match, like that racehorse. Silky Sullivan, always coming from behind. Then the Australian, a very good player, Leslie Hunt. Chrissy comes back again, wins it in three sets. And so it went, all her opponents leaving the place in tears. These old women, they were in their 20s, couldn't quite understand how she could do it. But she did it. The fans went crazy. Chris said, well... She didn't expect much, but she stayed loose. Marianne Eisel couldn't talk. She was really dazed, shell shocked. So it went until the semifinals. The fairy tale ends there because the wicked old witch is Billie Jean King, and she was too quick on the fast grass court. But this is the tournament that started it all the world's love affair with Christine Marie Everett. Classic Sports Network will continue in a moment.